the extra 20 cents a day will come in handy. Never underestimate the power of a letter, especially if they've been lost for years. It kind of chokes you up, up a little bit to, you know, to know. In, our father never talked a whole lot about the war when he came back. And uh, it, was, uh, it was quite something to, uh, you know, experience some of the things that he had experienced when he was in England. These letters, written in England by Lawrence Price and his brother during World War II, were accidentally tucked away in a box and sold in an auction. Fern Jordan's aunt discovered them but was unable to track down their owner. Now, years after her death, Jordan's granddaughter reconnected them with their descendants with Facebook. Oh, it feels really good to find them because I've kept them and I couldn't find them, family. Mm -hmm. And I just hung on to them because I know I wouldn't want to dispose of them. Her again. And Charles Price didn't know about the letters, but he's looking forward to reading them. It's a, a part of my history and a part of who I am, and uh, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to enjoy it. Lawrence Price died in 1974 before Charles' son could meet him. This weekend, he got to read the letters. Oh, he heard a lot of stories and things. It was nice for him. He, he uh, stood in his kitchen and he read every one of the uh, letters. The Price brothers haven't decided what to do with the letters now, but they'll be keeping them safe and in the family. Matthew Bingley, CBC News, Quiz Pam Sis.